Hey, what is up guys? Kita Rock here. Welcome back to another Nikkei Goddess of Victory video. Alright, today's video we can talk a little bit about the near collaboration. Yes, I'm sure you guys are very very excited. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard of this uh, near automata collab happening in Nikkei Goddess of Victory that is going to commence on September 1st. We still have about four more days, three more days depending on when you watch this. So hopefully in this video we're going to cover the patch notes, everything we have known so far alongside with the latest developer notes. So let's jump into it. Now personally I'm really really excited not only with 2B as you can see this is a very very good design of 2B probably one of the best ones I've seen in any near collab so far alongside with A2 right so we're having two of them really really cool and also a character that I never expect to come to Nikkei Pascal which is a, a non-female character straight up just a robot in Nikkei love it and this is going to come in the form of an sr character that means uh, he will be free uh, available for all the players to claim you know just like that so alongside with 2b and a2 we are also going to get costumes for them so they do definitely encourage you to pull for these characters because if you do pull, pull for 2b and a2 you will be getting an additional costume for free now you can see this is the a2 costume the metamorphic damage i like this particular costume so basically it's a2 but you can see she has shorter hair i love this design compared to her previous one you can see this is a long hair uh, i actually like the short hair one more uh, personally that's just a preference thing and also not to mention 2b everybody will be getting a free costume as well if you did pull for 2b you'll be getting the metamorphic damage one and this one is a little bit different as you can see the frills this particular part of the the skirt right this thing is entirely removed so right now you can see she just straight up can see her tie man for all the tie lovers out there maybe this is a good costume for you now let's have a look at the login rewards all right so the login is going to last for 21 days pretty long all right but you can see the important one is going to be the tickets right here this is going to be what you are going to need for pulls right so day one you're going to get two tickets day eight you will get three tickets so five tickets day 14 you'll get five tickets so up to day 14 if you log in for two weeks straight you will be getting 10 free pulls alongside with pascal on day three right uh, these tickets aren't these tickets are just to increase affinity with the character and on last day you will get an additional five tickets so 21 days log in 21 days for 15 free pulls hopefully you guys do that because you will need as many pulls as you can get if you're trying to get both 2B and A2. Now, let's check out the patch notes and hopefully talk a little bit about... First things first, uh, as you can see, 2B will be added. So that's the major character on September 1st. So she is going to be an assault rifle. All right, so virtuous rifle right here. So she's going to be a defender, surprisingly. 2B is a defender. So fire type abnormal so abnormal is going to be uh luckily is going to use this same type with the previous chainsaw man collaboration uh characters so 2b apparently has the ability to increase her attack in proportion to her final max hp so considering that she's a defender that's pretty cool uh, when she uses burst skill her max hp increases and boosts her attack in turn so I don't know, she's a defender, but it looks like she has all of these very cool skills that can boost her attack. So maybe she's a defender that does a lot of damage. So 2B is going to be available first immediately at September 1st up until September 28th. And you can see once the limited time recruitment ends, you cannot obtain her anymore. So she is limited. All right, so make sure if you guys want to get her, now's your only chance. All right, now next up for A2, you can see she's going to be rocket launcher, fire type. Uh, alongside with that abnormal as well so she is a character that attacks large group of enemies by wielding huge sword releasing shock waves after she uses her burst skill mode b her hp will decrease periodically but her skill attribute uh oh something got cut off is just just like that we'll wait for the full skill reveal all right so the full kit again she is going to be available at a later date uh, not this week a2 will be available on september 8th so the next week so if you are still looking to recruit deciding uh, maybe you want to wait for you know a2 out first and then i'll most likely test both of them and give you guys a proper comparison if you can only pick one right but hopefully you guys will be able to at least get both of them one copy each alongside with that sr pascal you'll be getting this dude for free modified gun rocket launcher supporter class uh abnormal as well now you can see right now they're also adding costumes 
So what is happening? We're getting four total costumes. Four. That's a lot. All right. So 2B will get a Yorha uniform one as well. And this is going to be a new one with voice, burst skill cutscene, standing pose, and SD special motion from Costume Gacha. Ooh, Costume Gacha. $60. So that is going to be one of our costume. But you'll be getting one costume for free. So I wouldn't worry about too much about the costume gacha, all right? So you're getting one costume for free. So A2, however, right? You also have one more called the Yorha Uniform Prototype. And this can be obtained from Yorha Pass. So that means uh, A2's costume will be able to be uh, also paid only, right? One of a costume that you have to buy the pass. But one more costume you'll be getting for free, all right? Just by pulling her. And then we're having Brit Black Moon. So that's a very unique costume for Brit. Uh, that's going to be September Mission Pass. New events for Neo Automata alongside uh, that's going to be divided into Story 1, Story 2, Challenge Stage. All of these are happening, uh, except for Story 2 are happening next week. And also Daily Login. All right, alongside with that, we are going to have a special Near Automata Co-op Special Coordination. Uh, you can see it's going to last every single week for three weeks. Mini game is going to be included alongside with that as well. Right now, uh, we are having the hacking game. All right, so I'm curious to check out how that's going to be. Full birthday event on weekend, September 16. Solo raid will be happening on September 14. And costume gacha, buy the Moonlight gear, obtain chances to recruit, you know. And again, just a full disclaimer, if you guys are not aware of the costume gacha, it's going to be about $60 to purchase everything. Uh, I've made a video of that before, so feel free to check it out. I doubt they will change the price for uh, this particular one. Yorha Pass, that's going to come at a later date. September Mission Pass, and they are adding the new Nikkei voice as well. Now let's check out the developer's notes because we'll be able to see more things from there. Now first things first, uh, you can see written by Hyung Suk Yo, director of Goddess of Victory Nikkei. So additional improvements, so they will be improving the Union Shooting Range. Apparently, they will develop a function that gives player a chance to try out new characters in the Union Shooting Range by uh, allowing players to classify characters according to property codes. I thought that's pretty interesting. All right, so because there's a lot of new character that buffs water type only, buffs fire type only, so hopefully this is going to be much more helpful. And they will be adding a function that allows players to select and listen to Nikkei's voices. They will be adding this uh, as well. So that's pretty cool. So difficulty of the campaign. So this is something that they are looking forward to hopefully try to adjust a little bit because uh, apparently some players are getting stuck in campaign. So that's one thing that they talk about. And for unions, uh, especially union leader, they are trying to make a system where if a union leader becomes inactive, the leadership will get passed on to someone else in the union. So hopefully this is something that, you know, they will be able to add. Uh, on and off option for when target appears, on and off option for sniper, rifle, weapon, blur. That also will be added on September 1st. There will be event archive where players can also look at past events. So hopefully that will be added at the end of September. They will be adding two events first called the No Caller ID, which is the first ever uh, event in Goddess of Victory and also Overzone. So that's a very good event. So hopefully you guys will be able to see what happens in the past with Scarlet, Dorothy and the rest of the Pilgrim gang. Uh, special arena regrouping cycle uh, that will be implemented. So they plan to set the cycles to three months or longer. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's something that hopefully they'll be, you know, adjusting the regrouping cycle. And very interesting thing that they talk about is about macros and special weapons. So apparently they are apologizing for anyone who were wrongfully penalized. So hopefully uh, if you guys are wrongfully penalized, you gotta go to the customer service center and hopefully that will resolve the issue soon. They also mentioned right here that they are noticing the player's concern regarding the manual operation of sniper rifles and rocket launchers. They are definitely looking into it. However, uh, this is something that going to take is going to take a while. They are worried that this is uh, something that will affect a character skills negatively so they will look more into it but it will take a while before they do anything about that so hopefully give them some time for now towards the most hopefully uh you know players can enjoy the near automata collaboration with nikkei all right so that's pretty much all there is for the developers notes and the patch notes upcoming for the near collab let me know what you guys think are you guys excited are you guys hyped I can't wait to see uh, their abilities and test them out in the, you know, in the battlefield for sure. So make sure you guys subscribe, stay tuned. See you guys again when the collab comes. Have a nice day. Goodbye.